Welcome back to Brad Miller time. Uh, this is going to be the second part of the Fat Camp episode. It's been going for two weeks now, um, and the guys have uh, really been doing a great job um, sticking with their programs and trying to lose a little bit of weight. Sichi uh, was riding the bike in the sauna two weeks ago, and I've seen him do it a lot over the last two weeks. Um, so we're going to go in and check. You know, Sometimes I've seen him in there for up to uh, two hours um, just riding the bike and just sweating it out. So we're going to check it out uh, right now and, and see how he's doing. It looks like Siege took it a little too seriously. Looks like I got to save him. Wait a second. Where have I seen this before? I think Lamaru is down, Marty. I think Lamaru is down. The champion that Hextall is <laughs> has rescued Lamaru. <laughs> Here we are with Lean Joe Gleason, our, one of our Fat Camp members. He's been trying to get the paw de poundage out of him. But, Joe, you're looking really good. You're looking very lean and very sexy. And uh, just tell us a little bit about what are some of the, the good things uh, about being slim, about being fit. Uh, there's a lot of good things, Mar. Uh, back to the, the simple things in life, you know, like tying your shoe. You don't have to hold your breath anymore. Or skates, that's awesome. Uh, getting upstairs is awesome, you know, you don't have to, you know, catch your breath all the time, and that's nice, so I love it. What about socially? I mean, obviously, you got to feel better about yourself going in public. You don't have to, you know, walk around and try and cover yourself up and wear baggy sweatshirts and stuff. So what, how about socially? How does it feel? I find myself shopping more at the Abercrombies and Hollisters and, you know, buying the size down, which is nice. And, you know, when that first experience comes and, I take off my shirt in front of a girl, I want to have washboard abs, you know, and I think I have those now. Yeah, I know you brought a, a magazine cover of yourself. Yeah, I've been getting um, offers all the time. This is me now, you know, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to do too many more. I'm not one who likes to be out in the public, but it's a good inspiration for other people out there. That's, uh, that's awesome, Joe. I'm really proud of you. Um, we also, just to show the results, of what a big man you used to be. Those are Joe's pants. We could probably fit two Joe in there now. So that's just a little, a little uh, showing of the the weight that you have lost. I mean, we could have got two in you in there. That's almost embarrassing, you know. Look at me now. I know that's just health wise. You look a lot better, and, and I'm really proud of you, Joe. And uh, you know, hopefully next year you won't have to come back to fat camp. Thanks. Here we are now joined by Aaron Dell, another Fat Camp participant. And uh, Aaron, it appears um, you actually gained weight instead of losing weight. Yeah, I think uh, my my brain has grown a little bit, and I'm smarter for it. But uh, the other guys got more fit, but I got smarter, so I think that's good. Yeah, I noticed you were working your brain over these two weeks. So uh, do you think the size of your brain um, is where all that weight is coming from? I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so too, um, but we'll have to have to check out that bod and uh, look at the other contestants, and you know maybe you need to adapt their plan and lose a little bit of the weight. Uh, how's your diet been over the last two weeks? Hasn't changed. That's um, it's probably the where that extra weight's coming from, but uh, I can't see your brain, so I'm not going to argue. Uh, we'll move along now to our next contestant. Thanks, Aaron. Thank you. Joined by our last participant in Fat Camp, Michael Sichi. Um, Sichi, it appears that you've got good results, uh, judging by that fist pump. Tell us a little bit, uh, a little bit about how you're feeling about the new you. Well, I lost 86 pounds on my uh, biking in the sauna regiment, and it just feels great because you know Joe shows his little magazine cover how he gets all the glamour, but I did it for in here. I did it for myself. Um, that magazine that Joe got offered to, I got offered to them before he did. Um, obviously, I've lost a lot more weight than him, 
A um, couple concussions, falling on, falling in the sauna on the head, but I think all of it was worth it because I feel good inside. Uh, that's all that counts. You know, Joe can go out and get all the public praise he wants, but you know what? It's about you feeling good about yourself, not about other people. Um, and yeah, I saw you down there. It looks like you fell off the bike, and um, not sure how you got here. Now it's a big hole in this episode, but you know, all the same, I'm, I'm sure some, someone came and uh, and helped you out. And um, well, we're glad to have you here. Glad to see the weight loss. You look great, and uh, you know, great job in fat camp. And we're gonna, me and Mar are probably gonna have to determine the winner here. Uh, that's it. All we got with Mike Sichi, and uh, we'll return after this commercial break. Are you sick and tired of putting strain on your neck and back from ridiculous ab exercises? Are you sick of doing 8-minute abs, wasting 40 minutes a week, 7 days a week, wasting your precious time when you could be doing... 30 second abs. All it takes is three and a half minutes a week. That is it. You don't have to do the go through the pain putting stress on your neck and back when you can just do 30 seconds of abs and get rippling abs like Mike Cicci and Aaron Dell. That's going to wrap up Fat Camp at Brad Miller time. It was uh, an exciting couple of weeks, and I'm really proud of Joe, Mike, and Aaron. They did a, they worked really hard uh, to try to put off the pounds, and they all put in pretty worthy efforts. But, you know, if we had to choose Brett, if there was one guy who maybe went over the top, uh, who would you say is our Fat Camp winner? My vote's got to be Michael Cicci. Um, the guy was so diehard. He was such a hero, um, you know, working so hard in the sauna, which is, you know, it, gets hot in there it's difficult to be in there and um, he was in there for a long time and was such a hero he wanted it so bad this guy passed out um, magically reappeared and got better for the interview um, but that's neither here nor there um, you know the point is guy works so hard he passed out in the sauna and you know that's that's deserving of first place absolutely i was thinking joe gleason was a really really close second uh, making magazine covers and stuff like that but i was just a little worried about uh how he really felt about losing all the weight and i thought maybe he was in it for all the glam and the glory and uh for all the extra stuff that goes with it not just uh losing the weight and feeling good about yourself inside and i really thought that mike that's what Mike was in it for, about being healthy, living a healthier lifestyle, and I really thought he accomplished that. I think Mike did it the right way, um, that's for sure. And, you know, Gleese, if we were to take this one step further, you know, seems to me the type of guy who might cheat, use steroids, stuff like that, um, so long as he looks good. But I think Seach really got the point uh, of fat camp and um, was true to himself. Yeah, well, that's going to wrap up uh, this week of Brad Miller time, and we'll see you next week.